of waking up somebody, but we are going to do our Wild Coffee Brew series, so stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to my coffee and get started. Got the half mug and mug and I'm ready to go. Today we're going to be making your wall. So I was teaching cooking classes over the weekend and I realized that I haven't done mirepoix with you guys yet. So mirepoix is just celery, carrots, and onions, and I'm gonna show you how to dice it up really quick and keep it in your fridge for use throughout the week. All right, so I'm going to dice up these carrots and onion. I'm not using celery this morning because I don't have it, but that's okay. You can keep making your mirepoix bag, stuffing everything in here and putting it in your freezer until you're ready to make soup. So I'm gonna get started by just opening up my bag and folding it over like that so it will stand up and I can put all of my cut up vegetables in it. So here I go with my chopping. Now you can do whatever size you want, but true mirepoix is equal um, like size pieces that are the shape of peas, or the size of peas. So you can just watch me work here and I'll show you how to accomplish that. Okay, so here we go. I'm slicing up my carrots. I'm trying to kind of get them into slices that are all the same thickness and then I just make little cuts like this and I go down like this. And I'll continue doing that. So I'm sort of slicing, as you can see, down the middle, which can be tricky. Be careful. Okay, I'm going to put it flat side down so it doesn't roll around. And I'm leading with the tip of my knife. So my, the tip of my knife is always touching the cutting board. And I just make these adorable little dices. And they don't have to be perfect. You just want equal parts carrots, onions, and celery, and that's it. Some people say not to do fully equal parts, but some people say twice as much onion. I like the veg in there, so. this cup and then I'll show you how to do the onion and you would do the same thing for the celery but you know what like the thing about this Wild the coffee brew series is that we don't need to waste any time so we're just going to do what we have on hand right now and when we get up the celery we'll use the celery okay so now just watch carefully as I cut off the top and the bottom of my onion these are all going to go into my stock bag that sits in my freezer. We're coming up with a post for Tuesday, tomorrow, about how to make all different sorts of things in the Instant Pot, including stock, so that would be what you use for that. So this is the root. I'm going to keep my eye on it and make sure that I slice straight through it. Sometimes the root's off to the side a little bit, but that's going to hold our onion together as we chop it. Hope everybody had a good weekend. I had a very busy weekend. I taught three cooking classes. All right, so there's the root right there. I'm gonna take my knife, with the root side down, and just sort of seesaw it back and forth. But I'm not cutting through all the way, right? I know no matter how many times I teach this, people want to see it again, so that's why I keep doing it. So, again, down, but not all the way through, because this is going to hold this onion together if we don't slice all the way through. So if you've ever struggled with onions that are just like flying all over your cutting board, ooh, this one's pungent, then that would be why. So then I take the tip of the knife, and I'm going to meet that same spot that I went down to before. If you're wondering why I'm whispering, it's because I have four children to sleep still. All right, and this is gonna go that way with the knife. And this way we get these gorgeous little diced onions that are the perfect size. So we're gonna throw everything in our bag. Oh my 
goodness, this one is so strong, you guys. So if you ever come across an onion that's burning your eyes, take it and rinse it off. Oh, I'm gonna make it a lot easier to work with. Whew. And I was telling my cooking class on Saturday morning, which was a knife skills class, that I really like to buy onions, carrots, and celery when they're on mega sale. And I'll chop them all up like this. It takes about half an hour to do a fair amount. Longer if you're new at it, but still not that much time. And then you put every chopped onion, celery, and garlic piece into a plastic bag like I'm doing. Gallon size works perfectly, that's what I have. And you put that straight in your freezer, and that's your soup starter mix. Or for roast or anything, for grains, for the entire week. And oftentimes for a smaller family, it will last for a month. So it's really worth it. Okay hey guys, so I finished chopping my carrots. I'll do the rest after I finish this video. But this is what my bag looks like and I'm just gonna close up the whole thing. Push out all the air, seal it, and mix it together. And this is a great soup starter. And look at the celery in there as soon as I get them from the store later today. Okay everybody. Thank you for watching. I hope all of you have a really good week. I'm gonna be drinking my awesome BFF coffee here. I can't wait. Mm. There's something about the first cup of coffee in the morning. I don't know what it is, but anyway. Hope all of you have a great day, and I will see you on Tuesday for our live video about the Instant Pot. Bye.